list of things that might kill us keeps getting longer. I hadn't even thought about moonshots. Racks, skags, bandits, dehydration, heat stroke, regular stroke, stroke, stroke. Whatever that is. That murder pile. The list just keeps getting longer. I've never felt so alive! <laughs> this is awesome! I can't imagine going back to financial reports. Ugh, boring! Come on, Vaughn. We can't afford to be reckless. We're barely getting through this as it is. It's not about being reckless. It's about getting past the fear. This! This is what I'm talking about! Mixing it up with Hyperion. Teaming up with grifters? Come on! These are the types of stories we'll tell our children when we're millionaires! We just survived moonshots from Hyperion! Huh? Friggin' moonshots, man! I am not afraid anymore! You hear me, Hyperion? I am Vaughn, and I am not afraid! Yo, what the hell was that? Relax. It's a vet. Oh. Okay. I have to pee. And not because I was scared. I, I had to go anyway. This is perfect timing. Freeze, you're alive. <sighs> Thank God you guys are okay. I thought that was it for a second there. I am so relieved. Well, there doesn't seem to be any permanent damage, but I can't really account for internal bleeding. Tell her to send some supplies! Yeah, don't talk to me while you're peeing. Thank you. Sorry! Almost done! Anyway, I got them to stop shooting, but I can't keep Vasquez from wanting to take you guys out. I'm doing what I can, but it's chaos up here. So I can't talk long. We could use some wheels. Vasquez's car is long gone. Oh, and we're stranded out here in the desert. Look, I'm able to track you, so stay safe for now. I'll send what I can. Cool. Hopefully she can help us out. We can't be walking through the desert too long. I mean, not without water. Go through all this and die of dehydration would be pretty lame. Uh, fun? We should get you to a vet. What? Why? What's happening? Because those pythons look sick. Huh? Your arms are... I... I don't... You are weirdly buff, dude. That's what I'm... I put an exercise bike in my office a few months ago. Don't worry about it. Right. He is pretty young. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a little envious of the definition he's got going. Would you stop sneaking up on me? <sighs> who's sneaking? I don't sneak. Oh, so you've been here this whole time? Yeah. Oh. Reese, who are you talking to? So he definitely can't see me, right? You're kind of freaking me out, Reese. We're the only ones here. Hey, so remember earlier when uh, I said I could see Handsome Jack? Sure, right after you fell off the ledge. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, it's true. Uh, he's standing right next to you. Right. Right. So, handsome... <laughs> handsome Jack is standing next to me. Yes. And I can't see him, but you're able to see him and also talk to him. Correct. He definitely thinks you're crazy. Who exactly is this little muscle-bound tool? <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> Okay. Ask him how many fingers I'm holding up. Uh, I don't know. He's scratching his ass, and, uh... Oh! God, I think he may have pissed on his shirt. That's not yeah, clean. How many? Three. Three. You're holding up three fingers. Lucky guess. You know it's not. Come on. We should get out of the sun. I... I don't understand. You should join, join the club. club. Jinx. Let's go. I can't tell if I'm crazy or, or you're crazy. Yeah, I don't know what state of being uh, I'm in right now, but, uh, well, walking still sucks. Man, what are the odds? Well, what does he mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, of all the people in the universe, Handsome Jack could be appearing to, it just happens to be the guy who's totally obsessed with him. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. It's like destiny. Uh, what? Should I be creeped out right now? Because 
feeling a little creeped out. <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't say I'm, you know, obsessed. I admire his work, sure, but I mean, obsessed? That's a that's a that's a strong way to. to All right, to take it, it down a couple of notches, kiddo. I'm really digging how you're looking at me right now. I'm not sure it is. I mean, think about it. You got all those handsome Jack posters in your office, dude. I think that's a little weird. That makes two of us. Yeah, those are motivational posters. You let the cat hang it. They're Hyperion issued. Well, maybe it has something to do with the Nakayama drive. Namiyaka. Why does that sound familiar? No, I did shove a bunch of data, you know, straight into my head. Uh, Nakayama, right. The weirdo that was obsessed with me. The other weirdo that was obsessed with me. I'm not obsessed. Oh, man. Hyperion would kill to get their hands on this. This? You! Your head or body or whatever Jack is in. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Whatever version of Jack you got in there, Nakayama stored it for a reason. Damn right. Even this idiot gets Hyperion it. Hyperion would scour the ends of Pandora to get it. You know, this could actually save our careers. Yes, yes, exactly. You need to get me back up there, kid. Get me into Hyperion, <laughs> and you won't yeah, regret it. I guess so. Yeah, we'll run that place together, kiddo. Huh? You, me, mostly me, but whatever. But uh, that's that's what we gotta do. It's about time. Thank you. I'm tired of walking. That makes two of us. Uh-oh. Incoming! <laughs> it's coming right for us. Hey, I guess that tracker's working, huh, boys? It's coming right <laughs> for us! Come to Papa! Come to Papa! Ow! Ow! Suck. Fancy meeting you two here. Here I was, out for a nice drive, and I land right on just the guys I was looking for. Imagine that. <laughs> it's red, Hugo. I thought you wanted your car in black. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. That's funny. You steal my car, you make jokes about it. That's good. That's great stuff. Look, I know we had a deal. And uh, while I don't like to go back on an agreement made man to man, the circuit. Hey, I that's right. We did have a deal. You convinced me to double-cross my best friend, and the day isn't even over before you're double-crossing me? Oh, <laughs> oh man. When you put it like that, it does sound awful. Should have known better than to trust a snake like you. Oh, don't be like that, little guy. It's just the way of the, uh... Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the trunk, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Hold tight, kids. Look! I told him I would sell you out, but I swear I wasn't going to do it. I was just saying whatever he wanted to hear to keep that jerk off our backs. I wasn't going to follow through with it. Please believe me. I we will talk about this later. Okay. Okay, that works. I guess I just... What's that? There, shovels, genius. You two freaks start digging. I want to see a decent grave going before too long. You heard me. Don't make me tell you again. No, no, no. I'm not digging. How about I gut shot you? Your little friend can watch you bleed out. I do not want to do that. What a good friend.
What part of dig don't you understand? Let's get going, Mr. Universe. Okay, just don't shoot. There you go. A little hard work never. <laughs> to be fair, that was supposed to hit you. Wait. Wait! <laughs> oh. 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 Damn. Damn, that smarts. I think I did that wrong. I, I got a tough noggin. Looks so easy in the movies, but... Amateur hour. You gotta aim for the bridge of the nose, dum-dum. How is it every time I show up, you idiots are in a worse situation? <laughs> You're not helping. <sighs> All right, fun's over. Looks like we'll be settling for the shallow variety of grave. Reese, you die first, and then he can load your body in the car. I'll bury Vaughn myself. What? Yeah, they want this idiot's body for something up there. Something uh, important floating around in his head. This is a prototype. The most advanced gun Hyperion has ever made. Someone's overcompensating. Any last words before the, how to say, with the inevitable? You don't even know how to use that thing. Maybe you should have read the manual, huh? Manuals are for amateurs. Damn it. Uh, is there a problem? Yeah, I know how to shoot a gun. I just want to get the maximum damage out of this thing. Okay, look, as much as I'd love to watch this idiot kill you two idiots, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm inside of, not inside you, but I'm like, look, if you go, I go. I've enhanced your echo eye, so use it to hack something and get us the hell out of this jam. Figure out how you can pay me back later. I've got you back. Right. Okay, mess this guy up. System access, that's new. Button on a gun wouldn't even do. Push this in. Push this in, and nothing's happening. Bullet. No, prisoner! What's wrong with this thing? Feels like there's a safety on this fuck. The safety? Okay, we got. Doing that. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is an interesting little development. Fine, look, we gotta go. This is my head. Get out! Ah, oh, come on, don't be like that. Oh! Oh, you, you see, you see what you did? did? You hit your race! Yeah! Go ahead and run! You're just making this funner for me. Start, or we could always just go to Hollow Point, though that might be dangerous. Man, this is a big decision. <laughs> it's weird, but I, I always, uh, you know, 
talk to myself during, you know, huge choices. It's just something I do when I, I know it's just, you know, Old Haven, they saw the map. They know to meet us there. You sure? We're the ones that had to escape certain death. They'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do that. To Old Haven. Thanks, bro. Hey, we're bros, bro. <laughs> That's bro, bro. Bro, 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 Unbelievable. I got one. We should probably let him finish. So anyway, we head over to Old and... Oh, wait. You were talking about him? Or who were you talking about? I'm sorry. Please continue. Oh, last thing. One of you will have to change a tire. Pandora's kind of pretty, don't you think?